Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. You may know that Adobe Illustrator has a great effect that can turn shapes into scribbles, and you can find that effect under Effect, Stylize, Scribble. It uses the path shapes to figure out the boundaries for a scribble and then goes to town. It's pretty cool for generating imagery that looks somewhat haphazard or hand-drawn. Wouldn't it be great if you could do the same thing in After Effects but also have it animate on or have the strokes constantly in motion? Well, guess what? You can. But there are limitations. However, some of those limitations have workarounds if you have Adobe Illustrator CS2. First, let's deal with just After Effects for a bit. I'm going to create a new solid by choosing Layer, New, Solid. The color doesn't matter, so don't worry about that. But let's make sure that our solid is the same size as our composition. Click OK to confirm the creation of a new solid. Next, I'm going to use one of the mask shape presets that comes with After Effects. Now, you could make a mask yourself using the mask tools such as the oval or rectangular mask tool or using the pen tools. That's up to you. For this tutorial, I'm just going to go into my Effects and Presets palette and type in the word Arrow, which brings up my Arrow Shape preset. Then I'll apply it to my solid layer. As you can see, this gives me a mask in the shape of an arrow. Next, with my solid layer selected, I'll choose Effect, Generate, Scribble. As you can see, our arrow shape now looks scribbled. A quick RAM preview and you can see that the strokes of our scribbly arrow are actually animating or wiggling a bit. Let's take a look in our effects panel and make a few changes. Let's start with the color. Using the color picker, I'm going to change it to red. Next, I'll change the angle to 30, which in this case tightens the strokes up a bit. Changing the angle will often change the length of the strokes, but how much bigger or smaller really depends on the shape of the mask. Next, I'll set the width to 3, which really tightens things up because there's some more overlap now that we've made the strokes thicker. A quick RAM preview, and we can see our Scribbles arrow wiggling smoothly. Interesting. But if we go back into After Effects, and we set our wiggles per second up to 30, we'll see something a little different. A quick RAM preview, and now we have a really nervous looking arrow. Also, let's take a look at another option called Fill Type. By changing the fill type, you can create different looks, such as different types of outlines. Pretty cool. Wouldn't it be great if we could do this sort of thing with text? Well, we can, sort of. Here I have a text layer that I want to turn into scribbles. Unfortunately, if I try and apply the scribble effect, nothing happens. And that's because the scribble effect only works on masks or paths. Since a text layer is neither, it's just not going to work. However, a few weeks back, I did a tutorial called Text Tips Number 1, and one of those tips is going to come in really handy now. In the timeline, select the text layer and choose Layer, Create Outlines. A new solid layer is created containing masks that make up the shape of our text. Now we can use these masks to generate our scribble effect. But before we do anything, turn off the visibility of the original text layer by clicking on its eyeball switch. Now, with the Outline Text layer selected, choose Effect, Generate, Scribble. Well, that's sort of good. We kind of have something that looks like the letter B, but no other letters. Let's fix that. In the Effects panel, I can see that the Scribble target is set to Single Mask, and that's the mask for the outer shape of the letter B. I'm going to change the Scribble type from Single Mask to All Masks. Well, that's better, but we don't have the holes for the B or the A. So let's try that pull down again and change it to all masks using modes. Well, that looks much better. And the reason this works is as follows. If you hit M to reveal the masks, you'll see that they're using the difference mode. Some masks are being used to cut holes in other masks. This effect is intelligent enough to understand that. Great. Now let's talk about animating this. Okay, by default, yes, it is animated. However, let's change those defaults and even do some keyframed animation as well. For starters, let's change the wiggle type from smooth to jumpy. I'll do a RAM preview, and you can see that the scribble holds for a few frames and then jumps to a new scribble look. How often that change takes place is decided by this property we already covered called wiggles per second. 
The higher the number, the faster it will update. The third option for wiggle type is static, meaning no wiggle. I'm going to set it to that for the next little experiment that we do. Now, you may have noticed the effect properties called start and end. If I scrub the end value higher and lower, as you can see, my scribble is being drawn onto the screen. You may be familiar with a similar setup from the stroke effect. The point is that I can set my scribble stroke to animate on or off. So at the first frame of my timeline, I'll click on the end properties stopwatch to set a keyframe. And I'll set it to a value of zero. Then I'll move down further in time and set a new keyframe with a value of 100. If I do a RAM preview, I can see my letters being scribbled onto the screen. I want to warn you that the order in which the strokes animate on is a bit haphazard. If you change the angle, for example, the order of animation might be changed. If you really want fine control, you may want to separate each letter into separate layers. Anyway, if you play around with this effect enough, you can come up with some pretty interesting things, such as the text you're seeing on your screen now. And sadly, this is not just a true story, but the true story of my life. But we're not done. Next time, we're going to talk about creating some more complex animation using After Effects and Illustrator. Don't forget, you can get the files for this and other podcasts at www.creativecow.net forward slash AEPodcast. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.